I'm going ahead and start. We'll start with our pledge, and then Commissioner Patton, if you'll do the prayer. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Holy Father in heaven, we come to you this evening in the most humble manner. Asking you to look down upon us with your tender mercy to give us a wise heart and a, the wisdom to conduct the business of the city in the most appropriate manner, taking into consideration that what's best for the citizens, not just for us. Be with us tonight and always. Protect us from the evil one in Christ's name. Amen. Welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first item of business is the approval of minutes. I make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Make motion to pay the bills. Second. Have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. same. Nothing under old business, under new business. First item is the 2021 tax rate. Property tax rate. You have the paperwork in front of you. I forgot it's that time of year, isn't yeah, it? I know. It kind of slipped up on me. Yeah. Now, what are we looking for this year, Larry? What? Your budget, what are we looking for this year, which on a tax rate? Uh, the budget, we did not do a 4% increase. We were going to take the uh, compensating. compensating rate. Yeah. That's one I'll make a motion. We uh, approve the compensating rate on the 2021 tax rate. Second. We have a motion and a second. And I will just say for clarification, make everybody understand, I think this rate goes up just a little bit. Nine hundreds the rate itself yeah. but i talked with jason uh, pda this year they had a change in the homestead act and the exemption amount's been raised up to forty thousand four hundred dollars i like that helps so, so like that. <laughs> not only anybody who was added to homestead this year but everybody that's already had it all the people that's already had it got theirs bumped up so that took our revenue down that's the reason because yeah. i was questioning why did that yep. rate itself go up but that's why okay any more discussion those in favor signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Passes. Next item is Beaverdam Police Policy Uniform Personnel and Appearance. Okay, so dealing with the uh, uh, uniform and personal appearance, uh, if you look, this went in effect uh, July the 1st, 2003, it went first went in effect. Uh, we come to the point where we need to change a little bit of policy. I've done some research with several police departments in different places, and Lexington in particular one, they changed their policy to a visible tattoo with a lot of restriction on it. Uh, and if you look at uh, page two on the handout, I guess, uh, number two, one was original the way it was, number two, there was a uh, phrase in there that said no visible tattoos. They have been removed. Uh, if you go down to four, that has been added in about minimum two piercings for a, a female, and they have to be a stud type. Can't be a ring. And then if you look at five, uh, the visible tattoos are permitted. Tattoos marking that display any type of offensive design, logo, or word must be visible, must not be visible while on duty in uniform, regardless of what the tattoo brand represents. For profane words, phases, phrases, indecency, lawlessness, uh, violence, and sexual explicit material or any language or description, description yeah, that may impair or disrupt the operation of the department or inconsistent with the mission uh, of the department. Head neck, uh, hand tattoos are not permitted in uniform or civilian attire while on duty, meaning if they go to court and they got a tie in court, they're pinned out. Uh, unless they've been approved. If 
you know, unless they've got some of this uh, profanity and things like that. Uh, one ring tattoo, which a lot of people you see has a tattoo on their finger for their wedding ring. A lot of people have done that. So, uh, but there'll be none below the wrist except for that uh, wedding ring. Uh, it says wearing a facial piercing, uh, lips, tongue, nose, brow, and any other location on the face is prohibited from all the parts of the uh, male employees may not wear uh, ear fish for male duty, and then 8, 9, and 10, or they are original, they was in uh, 2003, and then if you look down, it says a note, it says, well, the tattoo or body alteration is deemed appropriate or inappropriate, is that discretion of the chief of police, and then revise uh, this day, 2021. We come to a point, you know, where I think a lot of times we may, we might skip over some good candidates because uh, if you remember years ago when people were in the military, they'd get some tattoos and uh, things of this sort. But I think it's come to a point, uh, me and Tommy talked about it, I talked to Charles about it, and uh, whether, what our personal beliefs is about tattoos. Uh, we just come to a point where kind of like we can bend, but we, but we don't break. Yeah. You know, so that, is, that is what I'm proposing. Well, and like I'm saying, it's like Mike and I talked about a little bit too. It's 2021. Yeah. <laughs> Things are different now. Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 it's, got, it's got a lot of restrictions on it. Right. It's the profanity and stuff like yeah. that, which is stuff we need to do. And I, I have talked, and I haven't talked to you because I just haven't had a chance, but I have talked with uh, Chris at KLC. And he mentioned Lexington, I want to say maybe, maybe in Versailles, but there was a... Lexington did, and then there's, there's uh, two or three that's all from your bigger departments that have done it too. Because they're finding, you know, a lot of people have a uh, tattoo on their arm, lower, especially on the lower arms. And say, you know, that's no reason to keep somebody from being a police officer. Yeah. And if that's there is, and, and just because they maybe have something that can't be visible, doesn't mean that they can't be a police officer. It just means that they'd have to wear sleeves to cover it up. So there's just a certain time through spring and summer that they have short sleeve shirt anyway. They have a long sleeve shirt from November on until April. So uh, that's my proposal. Tommy and I talked about it. And we just feel like that it's uh, time for a change. Do we need a motion to accept that? Mm -hmm. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. We have a motion seconding for the discussion. Mr. Paper, Senator Hathai. Aye. Uh, Post same. Thank you. Do we have to have a second motion on, on, on the policy? On the policy We have to have a second reading. We don't have to have a second reading on the policy. We do have to have a second reading on the tax rate. Okay. I forgot. Too many things you have to remember. <laughs> Next item is the 2021 Paul Junk Day. Have you got a date set? No. All right. People call in and ask. Oh, I had somebody uh, ask me at school today. It'll be in October. <laughs> It's going to be on the agenda anyway to set a date for work. And are we going to revise? I think we need to. I don't think we need any any furniture. There's one thing: the sofa, recliners, mattresses, and stuff like mattresses. That. So no furniture. It's it's work. it's bad to get to that point, but when you have people from all over I, the county I, bringing I, it in, you know where I stand on no. this. So it's not. We, it's, we, we last time we had to take what, what was scheduled for two days. We took five. Yeah, well, we we done it for the three trash days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we ended up going for four. We to, I think you need to schedule it on a different day than trash day. Well, it'll with save you half. With experience. furniture being excluded, Tuesday, Wednesday wasn't that terribly bad. It was a Thursday, but with furniture being excluded, it shouldn't be. By having that third trash day is put yeah. a kink in what we the way we used to always do. It. Okay, well, but, but you think you can handle it that way? That's fine. Was there anything else we were having a problem with? You know, people, people pulling up from out of the city and dumping their stuff out. No time to get that approved. Can we have that where they, you can arrest them? <laughs> Would it's, it not it's, be considered it's littering? littering? Illegal dumping. Yeah, if the person where they put it, don't say they put it there. What if you just see them and you know they're not from that that place? We can probably go with littering. For those that have not been, we had an issue this last spring with junk days. We do that twice a year just to help clean out stuff. And I bet our pickup, was it 
fifty percent again loads more. Two is what you had normally, wasn't it? About fifty percent more than usual. But we were finding people from all over the county bringing stuff in and just dropping it along Main Street. For uh, I saw in Morgantown a free tire day, and then people everywhere in the county have been saving tires for a couple of years. Waiting to start bringing tire day, yeah. and businesses have been paying people like tra trailer loads at a time, stacked up like four feet high. Here, you take this one, you take this trailer. And yeah. So I I believe that. It was it was bad this spring. One place it was lined up between the house, it was all wet down. And then people would stop and dig through it. I'll see if there's anything they want to take home with them. Make a mess. And then make a mess and leave it. So. Yeah, if you're gonna pilfer through the trash, you need to leave it. Yeah, I don't mind them pilfering well, through my trash, but nicer. I got a broken mirror. Oh, I don't mind them. They knock it over and break it the rest of the way. I have no problem people I going through it. Up, that ticks me off. But I wouldn't. It's supposed to be everything in the back. Not, leave huh? it the mess. not on back. trash, not on junk day. <laughs> that happened on Main Street. Legally, if it's on the sidewalk, it's free game. Hey, that's yeah. back when I lived up in a... Somehow that don't sound right. If it's on the sidewalk, it's free game. I lived up in northern Kentucky. Game. Down in that one area where they were. So I go over and pick up these chairs and these tables up here. Anytime you got evicted, you better get your stuff real quick because all night. I'm going to have a party. I'm going to get some chairs and tables. Clean you out. We can probably do it the week of October 18th. Let me verify, make sure my cereal I won't be here. Got plenty of crew. Well, I'd pick up his chunk. I'll make sure, I'll make Randy go out and put it out there. You got plenty of crew for that weekend. You got full. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you had a full house or not. Yeah. I'll, I'll verify with him tomorrow to make sure. That's pretty but tentatively. We That's the week after fall break, isn't it? So. Fall break it's two weeks after. It'll be two weeks after. Oh, okay. Usually anything, anything metal goes out by my house, it doesn't last very long. Mine either. All right. I just answered my person at school that asked me today because I knew I'd forget tomorrow. Okay. We've got a motion on the floor. <laughs> Any further discussion? Well, <laughs> John Day's exclude all furniture oh, mattresses. Okay. And, isn't that right? Yeah. Didn't you make it? I made it. That's, what, right. I, I made it. that's what I thought. I thought you did. I, don't know. No. I didn't hear it. I apologize. We excluded all furniture. I'm we got a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. got one other item that's not on the agenda that I want to bring up real quick before we start talking to the other commissioners in the uh, audience. Uh, the amphitheater received some of the shuttered venues grant funds from the SBA, federal government SBA, and that has dropped into the, the city's general account fund, and we need to move it out. So I need like to entertain a motion to open an account. At, well, transfer the money from the city into the uh, an amphitheater fund at... Uh, First United Bank. Is that a different fund than the tourism? I mean, the amphitheater fund, is it different than the tourism? Well, no, but we have to keep this one separate because we have a lot of reporting you have to do on oh. to the SBA, and it's a whole lot easier to put it into an account so we can show every penny from the city into it, and then as everything you know, comes out of it... You're not intermingling funds that way. Right. And then it'll go into it. This account will be a temporary account. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay, we've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify that? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. <coughs> Motion passes. Jimmy, anything? No, I've got a clear conscience tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've got a clear conscience. How can you have a clear conscience? <laughs> <laughs> Sandy? Don't think I have anything. I think Kevin knows the only thing that I have. <sighs> hey, you sent it to me. Ch I know how you did. Charles? No, we had a mic and I took care of our own business we had. We yeah. have, well, doesn't the fire department, right? Well, I'm going to come back to him, too, if he... I'll save you a little time. <laughs> Kevin? Well, we talked about it a little bit before, Andy. We need to talk about that in closed session. Would that be something we need to talk about in closed session? Oh, we or can. You, what's, would you rather talk it out here? I mean, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Well, I have well, one more thing for do it in closed session. Hold that up, too. Yeah, all right, one more thing. <clears throat> I'd really like to look at trying to start building the football fields and the soccer field up here at Old Barn. I know we're not going to get them done this year. I'm not really worried about them. We need to get the dirt work done if they're going to be able to use them next year. I've been told that middle school will use them to play their home games there and the youth football league will be used to play. And then we've got the soccer teams, all the rec leagues and stuff can play down there. So, I mean, it's not like it's not going to get used. I don't feel like it's, it's – I feel like it's going to be used. 
But if we're going to do it, we need to start now with the dirt worker. It won't be ready for next year. So I would like to go ahead and make a motion that we start getting, we need to get a contractor to do probably some kind of laser. Well, we'll need to get some design work. Design, yeah. We need to get but we also need engineer to get, do some design work. Correct. Right? And, and that's the place and to I'd start. I'd like to go ahead and do that if we could. You're just looking at one soccer field? Looking at one soccer field, one football field, but they're interchangeable. You can take the lines and make a football field out of a soccer field, and you make another soccer field out of the football field. Well, I've not seen that done because I know yeah. right now Rec right. is take out, uh, paying like three games at once. Correct. So I didn't know how many. They just played some both places maybe. Well, right. and that's what we were wanting to where if we had a tournament that they'd have two fields open so the both the, the soccer field, though, would work out. Cause, and I don't know, it's been a long time since I had a kid playing soccer, but the, the rec fields, a lot of them are a whole lot smaller than a regulation. Some of the little rec fields yeah, are. You could, do, six, you could get three, six and U8 are two or three fields on one big But field, I think we've so. got enough to put in full size on both, and then if we want to put a rec one, we could. Well, when I say, but the full size soccer field could also be converted to Correct. the smaller be. rec fields, is what I'm getting at. Yeah. It would be you want to paint your lines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the way you want to paint your lines. Yeah, and, and it just would be where it would be. It would be I think it'd be beneficial for our community, not just to be with them, but I'm talking about all of Ohio County. Because I know the middle school has approached me several times about putting, they, they're begging for a football field. They want one badly. So we, need, we need one for them. They're only allowed one home game a year. That's all they're, that's all they're allowed. They've, that's been the last five years. No, it hasn't. Yeah. Well, since, you were, since you've been okay, gone. thank you. Correct. <laughs> since you've been gone, it's only been one home. He's right about that because well, he did allow him to play there. Maybe they need to bring him out of retirement. Yeah. <laughs> they it's taking four people to do his right job now. now. I don't think they could afford to get him now. His price would go up. <laughs> but I would like to, if we could, get somebody to go down there and do some, do some, maybe some design work, design yeah. work, preliminary <laughs> work, see what we can do. Because I would like to get it started so we can have it ready for next year. I mean, it's going to cost a lot of money to get that dome put on it and all that, you know. So. <laughs> No, I there just want it to where they can play. That medicine's affecting me. I know it. <laughs> but <laughs> you need it. <laughs> I would really I would really like to go ahead if y'all don't care, I would like to make that motion and we find somebody. I'd to like to that. see that too, so I will make that motion. And if Larry can work it out as soon as possible. I like the sooner possible, Larry. I like that. So I'll second it. If Charles made it, I'll second it. I got three grandkids playing that youth soccer, so I'm ready. Yeah, well, youth soccer and youth football. You, you, like I said, you can make one field do the, you can make it in two football fields, or you can make it in two soccer fields, either one. I'd say between the youth leagues and, and the middle school, they'll keep that football field, field busy. And the soccer. Soccer is crazy around here, y'all. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, it's crazy. Is this why our kids are having to play football in Owensboro? Yes, and they do not want to play in Owensboro. And since well, as a now, former football mom, that I'm all for it. Well, as a football dad, I'm the same way, but. I'm, I don't. That's not the entire reason, is it? Well, they're actually wanting to form their own league. Well, with that, Unibar, see, they gave up their Unibar, league. Butler, Unibar, Butler, Grayson, Edmondson. There's five or six counties involved in it. They're going to play their home games here, so it's going to bring in tourism to Beaverdam, especially if you can play two games at the same time, because then they'll really be bringing people in. Currently in our league, that was well, not, the, not the grant. Yeah. It should have been. Yes. Yeah. We play in Oldsboro right now. We practice there. All of Oldsboro, part of Davis County. Yeah. And it's a lot of, a lot of expansion, a lot of wear and tear on, well, on parents. But the especially. problem they were having, my understanding was, they didn't have enough kids come out to have a football league here. There's not enough to have a league. That was now. I don't know if that's still the case now, but, but when this happened, talking about where they're wanting to join these other counties. Yeah, I, I've already been see, contacted by Muhlenberg County people. We they were already contacted. We were in that same. What was I forgot the name of the league now? Because we would used to go around yeah. the Jamboree. No, it was Owensboro League. Something but it had well, a name. And no, had we weren't in Owensboro. Oh, I'm not talking about middle school. I'm talking about uh, the rack. Uh, but I thought it was Youth in Owensboro too. Was it King of the? King of the, the King of the Hill tournament in Westboro, yeah. but we were in with Butler County, Ohio, Edmondson, Hart, and Grayson. Yeah. Because I remember going to Hart, uh, Hart County to play. Yeah, that's and a long way. Edmondson County to play. Of course, that's where yeah. Tracy's family was from, so we got we enjoyed that one because yeah. you'd have a lot of family coming. Ohio County youth had just enough on the one team per age group. But let me ask you this: if they had a field here, do you think that it would increase the numbers? Because that's one of the other things they talked to me about. Even if it just increased the number on the one team, it would help to get more players. Because what hurts is you're traveling one to two days a week, two only games to play. Yep. 
<coughs> the trouble they were having, because again, this was been a few years ago, but they were they could play, they were letting them play at the high school then. They just didn't have enough kids to have. Yeah. I think it got down to where they had two teams in each age group, because they played over at uh, Wayland a little while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're down to one team per eight, yeah. but we're not allowed to play anywhere but Davis County. Yeah. And they're wanting to get away from that and bring in other teams. Well, just to clarify something you said, that it gives the school uh, not to set the big black eye. They started talking about it before I retired. You know, the condition of the field was terrible, and because if we couldn't have time to condition it, mm -hmm. that was it. Oh, no, I understand. Yeah. And, and the middle school did approach me about doing that, playing their home games here. That'd be great. Uh, They've had problems Tomlin. with the field ever since I was in high school 150 years ago. Yep. It's because you ban people toward it. Huh? That's right. <laughs> That's what we're told. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got special. a motion on the floor. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Post same. And one more thing. Sorry. You Pickle, told me. Pickleball. I'm sorry, I forgot. Pickleball. Larry, can you call them and tell them to hurry up? I can call them to hurry up. They also tell me. I know, I, I mean, know. Scotty's is a long. It's been contract. three weeks though. By, they're three weeks behind when they said they were going to be here. They're on the parkway. I mean, they're after the big bucks. They're after the million dollar job. Not to Do give him the number. I'll, I'll give you Chris's number and you contact. Where's him. he live? I'll go see him. Where's he live at? Actually, the French. Shoot, I'll go see him up there. What's his last name? Uh, Smith. Okay, I'll go see if I can find Chris Smith. I'll tell him. We I got his number. I'll send you number. You call him. Send me his number. I'll call him. I'm not afraid of him. I mean, they're, they're going to do the Don't alienate him from the city. Though. I won't. I just want him to get in here and fix it. Mike, you're getting all this thing. <laughs> Mike, if you have to deal with those pick, if you have to deal with those pickleball people, I feel sorry for you because they're fanatics. They are crazy. No offense, anybody here tells me about that. I'll vouch for that. They're crazy. I go to church before. They're old over playing yesterday. They're 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 fanatical. I mean. They're, they're wild. But I do, they want it badly, so I'm, I'm trying to get it for them, so. Well, we've got, I mean, it's already been approved. I know, it's just everything's been, I take you telling them that, but we, we can't get the blacktop done, so. That's all. I Now I am done, so I apologize for going on. David? Mike, anything else? No. Casey? <laughs> this is Casey Tarsey, owner of Drifters down in Midtown. Uh, thanks for letting me come tonight. Uh, I got a... What I'm thinking, I got three examples of it, why it would help, um, is to change from 12 o'clock till 2 o'clock alcohol sales in Beaverdam. Um, for us, when we was at Morgantown, we had most, most people goes out to eat, say 9, 9 30, 10 o'clock sometime, they're coming out to Bowling Green or Owensboro, and then they've only got about an hour and a half, an hour, hour and a half after they get there to buy alcohol in Beaverdam. So a lot of times people stay in Bowling Green or stay in Owensboro and go play pool or dance or something somewhere where they can stay till 2. Um, if we was open here longer, it would also help us if, with the amphitheater, after the amphitheater had stuff going on, they'd come down here, more people buying stuff, there's more taxes, but it ain't just me what it would benefit, because if the alcohol times was changed, it would be the gas stations, the liquor stores, everything in Beaverdam would be able to sell alcohol for an extra two hours, um, when they couldn't buy it around us anywhere, and so I'm sure it would bring more tax money. For all that, them that was one thing I was going to ask. Just because we do it for them, do we have to do it for everybody? I mean, honestly, do we have to do that? I mean, his situation's a different situation than just the beer sales. I think that, I, I, I may be mistaken, but I think there's two ways that it's written. One is for on-premise and one is for off-premise. So I think off-premise consumption would go for, that would combine the liquor stores and the, any, uh, Package. Gas station or package, or package food store. place that sold it to a package liquor to go, but then it wouldn't. It would be different, I think, for on-premise consumption. Um, every single person that gets wet in the state of Kentucky ever, it starts out with a default rule, which is 12 o'clock, and so that's what y'all just took the default rules from the right. state in the beginning. And then, like Morgantown and Bowling Green, Owensboro, everybody has had the city council go back and extend them hours. Um, to the max, or, or to different time, they've all done it the same, to two o'clock. But two o'clock is the max for the state. There's nowhere in the state that you're allowed to be in there after two. And even if it was two, I wouldn't be selling until two, I'd be selling until 1.30, because I got to have time to catch up people's tabs and get them out of the building, because the state's real serious about people being out by two o'clock, period. So, I don't know what the steps are to go. I think it's a, 
first reading and second reading and, and uh, advertisement 30 days on paper. I don't know the exact rules on it, but... <coughs> that would require an ordinance change. It would have, take the two, two readings to get it finalized and then advertising the paper, then it is finalized. So I just thought I would just present it to you and see if that's something you Tracy and I have gone down there several times. About. Play pool. I went down there one day when he had his light on his motorcycle when he was coming out. He didn't know he had it on. But I told him, hey, your light's oh, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was you. Yes, that was the aggravating guy on the end, yeah. No, I was, I, hey, I was being a good Samaritan. I wasn't going to let him run his battery down. Yeah, he, 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 he just come and tell me it was my well, that or somebody to take it. Somebody stole her. We have a bus. We've been yeah, I saw that. Off. They stole everything, yeah. But I'm putting a new transmission in that, and um, I'm getting it painted and writing drifters on the side of it. So they won't steal it, maybe. But I'm going to take the keys out of it so they don't steal it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know you write drifters on the side pretty yikes. big. They may be a little deterrent. Yeah, that would. It's going to be a little noticeable. Yeah. Um, it wasn't somebody from here that did that. No. It was somebody from like Arkansas or somewhere, and that they he'd stole five cars, dropped one off, and steal another one, and they found my car in Lexington. So, um, you know, they it wasn't somebody local that did that. Yeah. But, that's what I got. Oh. <laughs> uh, Thoughts, I think. I don't know about Muhlenberg County. Morgantown or Butler County or Great Morgantown is Butler too. County is, yeah. Uh, yeah. Central City, I think, is it? Which one is the name? Um, Central City, I think, is two, and Greenville's not, I believe. There's one. Because Greenville one just went wet. Greenville just went yeah. wet a couple months ago. I didn't, couldn't find the Greenville ordinance. Central City is 12. Uh, okay. Well, the mayor is up and down. Uh, Owensboro, Morgantown, Bowling Green, they were two. Um, everywhere else, like little or seven, little uh, places are 12. It would also help me a little bit with, um, say, not just the amphitheater, but say beats or sounds on second, anything that's going on down here, it's overlapping with stuff that I've got going on. So I'm having to have bands, usually about a four hour band, and I gotta have time to get people out. So I'm stopping bands about 12. So I'm starting about eight. But if I start it at 10 or 10.30, then stuff's not overlapping. People can start down here, have dinner, watch these bands and everything, and then come down there. Or even if you all had two or three bands down here, the opening band could do a show down there afterwards. So nobody's really competing against each other, and it's bringing all of us money. Yeah, because everything that's over down here, as far as the sounds on second by 10. Yeah. So uh, I started. And I think Scott's usually, when, even when he's had music, it's usually over by 10, even on 10 30 usually or something. Friday yeah. or Saturday night. He doesn't do it a lot, except in the wintertime, they'll do some. but. But again, they do kind of complement. But, oh, one thing I forgot the last thing, does the, in Morgantown, when we was open over there from 12 till one, we did almost 50% of our sales, um, period. Because people just, it's, it's dead. We have a lot of staff, a lot of stuff going on, but until nine or 10 o'clock, people just aren't out of the bars. And um, if we're, if right now we're paying roughly just about $2,000 a month and we're still going up every month. So probably, Twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars tax is what we'll pay this year, but if we was if we was open that much longer, that's going to be probably twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars more taxes that I'm going to pay just in a year, which is a whole police salary or, or part of. I don't know how much to make. I'm just guessing, but it should be a hell of a lot. I think two readings. Yeah, it takes two readings. So this would just we could do the so first one. Is this one for the reading for everybody or just for him? I don't remember. I have no problem with you doing it. I'm, I'm good with that. I just wondered what it would do with our oh, liquor it. sales at the at the stores, if they should be. I didn't. I it think, is everything. I, I it's think it's. Owensboro, I just pulled up the ordinance, and it's all licensees at 2 a.m. Is Bowling Green that way, or is some? It seems like now I could be completely wrong. I think that Bowling Green is all except on Saturday night. They had to stop at 12 on the sales because of Sunday morning or something. Yeah, that's why there is a Sunday. Liquor at a gas station after a certain time. There's something on Sundays, but it was just on Saturday night. That makes sense, though. There was something in Bowling Green about that year. But we sell. They sell alcohol here on Sundays. Yeah. Yeah, you used to have Sunday, Sunday sales. Because they they the so yeah. right we've always had the Sunday sales. Yeah. What we can we can do the first reading, and then decide and, then decide and make any change on the second reading okay, for the. I'll make that motion. For the others, I'll make a motion. We extend it to two or one thirty. Oh, no. Well, I mean, to me, it doesn't matter either way. On the one thirty sales is fine as long as they can be out by two. Right now, Beaverdam says that they have to stop selling at twelve. 
and then you have to be out by um, one, one hour after that. But um, for me, I'm gonna stop selling at 1.30 no matter what. So 1.30 doesn't bother me a bit. But as long as I have that extra 30 minutes to pay their tabs and finish that drink they bought before they leave and stuff. Most anybody's gonna be the same way. Yeah. I think so, yeah. But I think I, even at two, I, mean, I think two is just what everybody thinks. I don't know why. Um, it, was, it would be too hard for me to try to get people out by selling them a drink at 145 and then saying, okay, you gotta go now. Because it was just 30 minutes, it already makes it, you know, just about as tough as it needs to be. So what do you think we're to make it there? Two? That's yeah, fine for me, whatever you want to do. Make a motion that we extend the liquor sales till two. This be, a, this be a big test of what the uh, silent majority been, what might want to say this time. We'll see if they're really going to be quiet or not. Mm -hmm. Well, I, you know, I would think that too, Charles, if it hadn't been for, we didn't have a big kickback on the Sunday sales. I was really expecting it. Uh, I was expecting people to be marching down Main Street. You'd think if they didn't know it. So but, it was already done. They didn't well, know. I know, but even after it was read. done, they didn't go. Yeah, they didn't well, know. I didn't know it. I called I, you I got, I Sunday morning. I caught grief over that. Yeah, well, I did too, but I, I didn't know it until I called. I, I went driving by going to church going, why are they people at the at the at the liquor store on Sunday morning? Well, I didn't know when we voted on it. I didn't know it was, on, but I'm I'm good with making it two o'clock. Okay. Well, we we've got a motion and a second for that for the first reading. Any further discussion? Okay, those in favor signify with aye. Aye. My aye. Yeah. <laughs> opposed. That was opposed. Saying. Motion passes. Okay, now we just got to get together. And I'll do some checking on the other, on whether you can do one and not the other. And, and we may have to amend it to where you don't sell after midnight on a Saturday night at the liquor stores, or, I mean at the package stores or something. Yeah, we can Make see what they tell like us to. Some of the other cities do. Well, thank you guys very thank much you. for your time. Appreciate you coming out. Thank you so much. I got a feeling you're going to have to stay with the package stores. Right. Stay with the other thing might have actually going to make a difference. I don't either. Well, I, I just thought either. we could discuss it if you got a chance. But, Whatever. I'm fine. Well, this way, like I said, we've got, we've got time, time to, to make the yeah. second reading. And go. I'm backing up to David. The last fiscal court meeting, uh, went up and spoke to them about the purchase of new fire truck, requested the assistance of them to help us. Um, they did agree and had gave us fifty thousand dollars to go towards the new fire truck. So that's good. That's wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Some of the county money. Yeah. So <clears throat> I've expressed to Jason that. I've talked to one other one, our appreciation. Because yeah. uh, like I say, we pay city, city people pay county taxes and that helps out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit helps, so. Okay, Larry, do you have anything? One thing I have, the girls have discussed today about the trick-or-treating date. Are we going to, do they decide? We were going to have it on that Sunday. Do it on Sunday? Because it's, it's Halloween's on Sunday. Halloween's on Sunday, yeah. Okay. Never mind, I don't have nothing. I, have, I didn't check my kid. You're going to have it on Sunday? We've always had Halloween. Yeah, but not for you on Sunday. We don't have it on trick or treat on Saturday. Yeah. Not we've since done past. I don't think we have since I've been down here. Yeah, we have since I've been here. I thought one year we did it on Saturday, but I don't remember when, if I was The only time I ever remember there. moving it is when they were calling for those big storms yeah, one year. We, we, get, we still have another meeting before we can, yeah. if we want to change it, make sure we follow suit with the county and everybody. Kind of the same kind of move. That's true. We'll have another meeting. And they're going to have the, I guess the treats on the trail will be Friday. Because yeah. they always well, do. Well, if you not move trick or treat for the community, why have it on Friday for the trip trail? Because the, a lot of the businesses aren't open of a night. Well, then some parents don't want to sell it on Sunday night, so I think we ought to have it on Saturday. Well, we're going to change Christmas because it's on Sunday. We're going to no, move it to Saturday. Let's don't go there. I mean, trick or treating on Sunday is a whole lot different. And some of the other things we've done. We've got a lot of people going to Bible study on Sunday night, oh, and they don't want to have people coming to knock on the door when they're not there. Sunday night, this is not a time for kids to go trick or treat. Can we check and see what other other areas are doing, like Central City Green and all that? I mean, not that we have to follow any suits that they do. We do our own thing. But I'm just curious if anybody else is doing that. Just to see what Hartford and the other. Because I bet in once I don't. But I bet you they don't let them trick or treat on Sunday. I mean, I, no offense, I just can't see that happening. In Owensboro, because it's such a big city. But now in May, I don't know. What's the other communities in L.I. L L County doing? We talked to them. Yeah, we talked to them. 
George, Justin, can you, heard can you check on that for us? See, check with some other county. If you can have Amy or somebody do it, if you want to, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> don't tell her I said that. Do what? I just assumed it was going to happen on the day. That's. Can you have a closed session? If we want to talk about that, it'd be a real quick one, but I mean, it will be. Are you having a closed session? No, that's the only thing I have. Yeah, so you, you know what I'm going to talk about, so it's not going to take very long. Okay. No, this one won't. So make a motion to go into closed session. Yeah, let's make a motion to go into closed session. Second. Second myself. <laughs> Just one little thing. It's real little, it'll be real quick. About the ballpark down here. <laughs> time out, time out. Don't go there with me. There's hard on one thing and end up. Second. Second. Have a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. I heard How easy that. Was that? Might have done. <laughs> you might have been whispering, but I heard that. We're done. You can leave. <laughs>